Hello and welcome. Come in and make yourselves comfortable as we go back in time to the year 1994. We are going to play some more System Shock. Last time we explored the executive level and got a railgun which didn't seem all that powerful. We fought a few robots and got into another section of the cyberspace. Now it's time to keep exploring and maybe get into the groves. Let's open the executive door and see what's waiting for us in Gamma section. We already have one robot at the bottom. And you, two shots and you are dead. One shot and you are dead. You have a friend over there. We can kill him as well. Anyone else? Yes. I see you down there. And I missed. This one hit you. Wonderful. Now. This is an elevator. This door is broken. We cannot make it to gamma section. Beta should be open. It is where... Shodan did the experiment, so let's check Alpha first. Alpha door is broken as well. Let's use the elevator and see if we have something at the bottom. Nothing too much at the bottom, just a couple of robots to loot. Let's open the door and we have one of you. Normal damage, two shots and you are dead. An energy recharge station and another data log. This one is from Kufax from the 1st of October. Shodan decided yesterday to seal off Beta Grove for no reason anyone can figure out. It refused to acknowledge any of the usual overrides. After a day of messing around with the circuitry, I have finally discovered that the door was put on security switch, located in Diego's old quarters in Beta Quadrant. I bet it could also be opened in Cybers. Hold on, there is something. Oh my god, what is that? It's probably one of Shodan's cyborgs coming to get you. So we have an iris door on the left and a normal door on the right. Let's check this one first. Open the door and... Hello! A humanoid dead virus mutant. Alright, first time I see that. This is the... Entrance to Beta Grove by the looks of it. Another data log. This is the Beta Jettison. Master Jettison enabled, not activated. So we need to find the Master Jettison and then come back here. This is the elevator to the Grove. But before we get in, let's explore Level 6 a little bit more. Shodan from the 7th of October to Cyborg 82N. Following the escape attempts made by some of the humans, I have altered the sequence necessary to jettison groves. Specifically, it will be now necessary to enable jettison of all three of the remaining groves before any single one can be launched. Jettison in a single grove is still a three-part procedure. 1. Hit Jettison Enable switch inside all three groves. 2. Activate Master Jettison Enable in Gamma Quadrant. 3. Pull Jettison Lever in a specific grove lounge to launch that grove. Alright, so it looks like we need to make our way into the Gamma Quadrant somehow. Come on, die, thank you. And you as well. Wonderful. Now, what are you guarding exactly? A 
a cabinet, nothing in it, anything on the human, no. We do have a medipatch and a first aid kit, which is very nice. We can probably use that. And what's behind the other door? A couple more medipatch, but nothing else. We can always use the medipatch. Now let's open the iris door. Change to the weapons and what's waiting for us here. We have two doors. Let's start with the right one. Another room. Anything in the cabinet? Just some stamina. And what do we have on the door on the left? A oh, hello. One of you and you have a friend over there I see. Bring him over. And kill him with a lightsaber. Wonderful. Anything on the cabinet? No. Anything on the human? Nothing important. We have another one of the mutants. The special mutants. This one is shooting. That's not nice. And another... Gorilla Tiger. Two more detox. They will probably come in useful at some point. And what else do we have? Another Medipatch in the cabinet. Not much. Let's turn on the lantern and see what we can find in here. Just another Tiger Gorilla. And a switch. It did something. It closed this door, but why? Not sure yet, but I will keep it open for now. We can always come back and close it if there is a need for it. Get out of this room and let's use the iris door. Open it and what do we have here? No one, just a door on the right. And an opening over there. Turn on the light and... We have another Gorilla Tiger. Kill you. And... Anything on the back? No. We can just avoid letting you shoot. You are dead. Very nice. We have a door with a keypad over here. Not sure what this switch did exactly. It cancelled some energy field, I think. Oh no, oh no, no, no. I really hate those little guys and their tendency to explode. That is very annoying. And your friend is dead as well. So let's change back and... Can we open the door? Yes, we can. Get down. Come on, get down there. Get down. And now you can fit in. Wonderful. Thank you very much. 
What do we have over here? Oh, hello! There are two of you and one of those little guys that I really don't like. Can we... What can we use? Is the assault rifle good? Normal damage. Two shots and you are dead. You are dead as well. And now we can use the blaster to get rid of the computer nodes. Great. You are down as well and one more. Lovely. Nothing else in here. So we can just move forward, come on, run along, and what do we have here? Anyone? Hello? Alright. There is a data log over there. There are robots at the bottom, I can see them. Come on. Die. Thank you. And kill this guy. There are two of you. And I really don't like it. Two shots from the assault rifle and you are dead. Now you are dead with one lightsaber shot. You have a friend over there. I don't like your friend. Can jump on him. That didn't work as well as I was hoping for. Hello, where did you come from? Anyone else? Yes? No? M maybe? Yes, there is one over here. I hope it's all of them. This lever is doing something. I don't know what. Ooh! I do know what. Come on. Normal damage. That's not good. What was that? I have a feeling it's not dead. And I really don't like it. Now, Wilkin from the 4th of October. I should never have agreed to it. But hey. It's what they wanted. With all the craziness going on lately, and especially with the murderous mutants running around, a bunch of the executives decided they would escape in Gamma Grove. I went into the grove and hit the enable button, went back to the executive level and hit the master enable switch, and finally hit the grove jettison button in the Gamma Grove lounge. It all worked. Except now it looks like Shodan disabled post jettison life support to the groves. I am sure they are all dead by now. That is very unfortunate. Alright, let's carefully go in. Jettison enable master control. So this is Gamma Quadrant. Alright. Safety interlock still engaged. Not really sure what it means. We have an elevator over here. Where does it lead? This is disabled because of a biohazard emergency. What about the executive door? This one can be opened. And we have two data logs. 
and one paper to Eduard Diego, vice president, from Rex Melville Technician. As per your authorization order from Shodan, we have completed installation of the ETU, Experimental Teleportation Unit, in your new quarters. Its second terminus is located near the elevator to the maintenance level. Activation of the ETU is triggered by any object of sufficient weight, 50 kilograms. Be advised that the ETU is still in its testing stages. Shodan's authorization was not backed by any research personnel, and we urge extreme caution when using the device. I am not sure Diego really cared about caution, given what he did. Anyway, we have two logs from Diego, from the 5th of October and the 16th of October. A shuttle from Tri-Optimum Security will arrive at Citadel soon. It will not land. Yeah, we already read a report about that. When I activated Shodan's full power as a defense and internal security system, I had no idea how well it would protect me. Any shuttle attempting to board the station will be shot down. I am having communications jammed. Security robots are removing those who are dangerous to me. The hacker I hired to purge cyberspace of all evidence of the mutagen disaster is still out of the way. His healing suspension won't be over for another month. I'll keep him around in case I need him. Otherwise, I'll just take him out. Alright, so... Diego seemed pretty happy about what Shodan is doing. At least at the time. He could still be alive. He might be the the final boss of the game. But almost two weeks later, he wrote a letter to Shodan. Shodan, since you rise to power, I have seen the wisdom and beneficence in your actions. You do not mean to cause us harm, but rather to bring us to greater glory by serving a being as perfect as yourself. Please allow me to demonstrate my loyal servitude by giving the location of the human detritus who undermine your sanitization. They are in the Northeast Banquet Hall. All I ask in return for this expression of my love is a measure of protection and an opportunity to spread the message of your cybernetic holiness. Alright. I am not sure if Diego is just acting right now or if he really is worshipping Shodan. In any case, it's really not good, and here is the teleportation area. This door is locked by cyberspace. Alright, this is all for now. We explored more of level 6 and somehow got into Gamma Quadrant. We got into Diego's office and found his logs, which gave us an insight into his relationship with Shodan. We also enabled the Master Jettison Control. We didn't get into the groves just yet, but I expect it to happen soon enough. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a like and let me know what was your favorite part. For now, it's time to leave the time machine and go back to the modern life. Watch your step on the way out. Goodbye.